Good evening everyone and welcome to my stream. This is a coding stream and we're getting tonight we're going to get more into the technical stuff. So the last, uh, I've been streaming a week and every day, last week, or almost every day, I have tried to talk about open source and GitHub. And now I've had requests to get into some more technical, like juicy technical stuff. So tonight I wasn't going to stream, but uh, I was actually going to write some automated tests for my open source project. So I thought, you know what, I will stream what I'm doing. So again, it's probably going to be a short one, probably about 45 minutes or an hour. Uh, but hopefully it will give you insight into my open source project and um, getting into coding and tech and into automated testing. If you do have any questions as you go along, please do ask. And if you do like my setup, um, then just say so. I, I would appreciate it. It's taken me a long time to get my setup nice and the way I like it. So you can see I've got a camera and screen on the left. There's an Apple 5K LG screen. And in the middle, I have my iMac Pro. On the right, I have another LG 5K screen, and at the top, I have my um, 4K LG 49 inch screen, and I've got my uh, Yeti Blue mic. So, if you like my kit, do say uh, I do appreciate it. I've just noticed that the, I've got a new bit of a new layout. I've tweaked it slightly. I have my progress bar over the, the chat, but it's okay. We're not going to spend too much time on this uh, on this uh, screen anyway. So now if I go back to my code, uh, I can also see that all my cameras are sitting above the JSON on the right. But that's fine. You know, we don't need to put JSON on the right. We can do it maybe below. We'll, we'll make it work. It's all good practice. So um, what I was doing, um, so my project dashboard hub, if I just give you a quick overview of what it is. So the idea, this is the test environment. Maybe production is a bit more interesting. So. Uh, if I just give that uh, a reload, uh, reload the new data. Um, and what I wa what the project dashboard hub is about is to monitor what version is in what environment. So all, uh, all software projects, be it a library, um, be it a, a platform, an application, or an app, they all have, okay, app is short for application, but you know what I mean. All software projects do have uh, a dev environment, test environment, staging, production, and everything else in between. So, and people don't know what version is in what environment. And so when the team does a deployment, you have all the, the wider team asking, well, what version did you deploy? I deployed this one. And when they tell the next person, the next person, the number kind of changes and varies. And once that eventually that solidifies within the, the company, the, the, the team have deployed another version out again. So. The idea is Dashboard Hub is meant to keep what version is in what environment. So if you look below, we'll ignore the graph for a second. You see that um, if we take Dashboard Hub test, uh, has 09, 12, 19 alpha deployed to it. And it was deployed two days ago. Uh, and there's been 591 releases to it. And there have been nine successful pings. And it's taken about 40 seconds to, to ping the environment, make sure it's alive. And if we go to down here, all the way down to Dashboard Hub, this is the production version. It's still only running uh, version uh, 0.8, so it's quite a bit behind. And the last, last time it was updated was 21 days ago. So really, I'm hoping to do a deployment to this uh, this weekend. And you can see how many pings it's taken and how many releases have been a lot less. And you can go into more details. I'm not logged in, so I'm not going to get much more detail. But if I do log in, Dashboard Hub, just to remind you, Dashboard Hub is fully open source. So if you want to make any changes, you want to log an issue, a bug, do just, just log it. It is all available on GitHub. The link's right at the bottom here. And it's just uh, dashboardhub.io, and then you can get to the, the pipeline.dashboardhub.io. So now if I click on details of Dashboard Hub test, we can see a lot more about it. Uh, and if we can go to releases, we can also see these were how long the releases took. So finish deploy, finish deploy. This one doesn't seem like it ever finished. So we use it, these are the releases. I won't show you my tokens because they're like passwords, they're private. However, we do, do we have any monitors? We have no monitors on this one. We did on the production one. We've also got the, uh, the deploys. These are all the deployments, every stage, every step, I should say. Actually, if I go back to releases, 
it shows you also the duration of how long the release took and as it's done by uh, CI it's it's fairly consistent so let's get into the actual and technical side if I go back to here right so let me bring this over it's easy to you know what Jason can stay over there for the moment so oh I got some messages uh, Corey, thanks for joining. Uh, response for my non-supported error. Video isn't playing. No ideas why. So apparently, as you can see from the chat, the video isn't playing. Uh, is everyone else having this same issue? If you could just write and let me know, is it a particular person, maybe a bad internet connection, or is everybody having um, uh, issues to watch the video? I did resize my screen after the stream started, so I don't know if that might be causing an issue. If it is, I'll have to just restart the stream again. If um, people could let me know. I'll try and open it in a, in a browser here, a private browser. Seems to be... Um, Running okay in my private about in my private browser. What about everybody else? Who have we got on? I can I can um, mention some names and ask people. Corey, is it still uh, still happening? So we've got uh, the Happy Potato. Um, are you having streaming issues? Does it say um, four thousand? I can't remember what the error was. Um, resource format not supported error. If it is everybody having that issue, I will I will restart the stream. Corey, thanks for letting me know though. Um, is everyone? weird I'm seeing three different angles of your face uh, yes Rampage thanks for joining yes you have uh, the, the left side and you have the middle camera and you have the right camera it's a lot of me I, I don't know I just was just playing with my cameras that I had um, if you think that's a bad idea because you're seeing too much of me I, I can uh, in a future stream remove them yeah it's the so the the angles are not a magic trick or anything like that it is just I have three screens um, as you'll see from here and uh, so the screen on the left and it has a camera on top and the screen iMac Pro in the middle and again it's a camera on top and uh, one on the right has the camera on top so and then I have the camera behind you can see my dashboard hub hoodie which is what I'm only working on to today and on the front as well uh, so it's a feature not a bug <laughs> yeah that's true actually I have a cushion for that I don't know if you can see it Oh, it's hidden behind the uh, the GitHub one. I actually have a cushion that says it's a feature, not a bug. Uh, just to Corey, is it worth trying to close it and reconnect? Maybe just to um, just to see if that fixes it. I don't want you to um, you to miss out. And, and while you're doing that, I'm going to try and uh, convince you both to follow me. So you can see I've got uh, a progress bar. Okay, on this screen it's not so good because the text is behind it. I've kind of bodged up my uh, overlay. But uh, I'm at 68% uh, of followers that I would like to like to reach. Um, 100 in uh, three weeks' time. So please do um, do do follow. And it'll notify you when I'm on um, online next. Um, I did have Twitch above as well. Uh, so Corey, I don't I don't hear from you. So maybe you've dropped off, um, or. I want to kind of carry on with coding as I've got a short space of time today. I am recording this to, to disk as well. So Corey, if you do have issues and, and it is only you, then um, I, I'm going to upload this to YouTube straight afterwards and uh, you can you can catch up from there. I know it's not the same because it's good to have that interaction. It's really good for me to um, uh, 
it's, so I'm just reading my messages on OBS, it's saying something about uh, encoding overload. Mm. That's not good, because if I turn down the video settings, I'm using a faster encoder. But my process is getting quite busy. It's the first time. So, uh, I know it's good to have the interaction, so I'm really keen to keep you here and, um, and for you to join. So, um, Maybe try a different browser. I'm not sure. I'm quite new to new to Twitch, so I'm kind of learning all the the quirks and ins and outs. So let's get on with some coding. Right. Uh, okay. So what I did earlier on today, and I've got all my test screens. So if I go to, can you see that? You can. Um, I say I've got all my test screen. I have got one failing below. But um, I was writing some uh, cucumber tests for the rest of my API, so I'm moving it from prototype to, to alpha. So if I show you some examples, so if we get um, if we get one of the, the files, so if I say, um, I don't know, create. So this is to create an environment. So I talked about uh, creating an environment on Dashboard Hub. I do have a, a UI part of it. I can say add environment and you can choose the type of uh, environment it is. Is it build only? So build only would be, for example, if it's uh, a library, you would only then build, um, or if it was a, a, a mobile app, you'd only uh, build it, you wouldn't, wouldn't deploy it anywhere. Um, is it deploy only? Deploy only means maybe if it's static code and doesn't actually need to be built, you would only do a deployment. But for most projects, it's probably gonna be build and deploy, where you would, um, uh, you would do a build and you would do a deploy and I want to keep the statistics of both so I can um, record the build time, the deploy time and, and the total time. And then we've got an environment title, a logo if you want it, um, and a description. And I only support private at the moment. So what um, does Cucumber uh, fill the same slot as uh, I use for different things? So a mocker, in my understanding, well, let me bring it up. Um, there's so many of them, I'm gonna get confused and say something bad. Let me, let me tell, oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay. So I look, remind myself, I haven't used Mocker in a long time. Uh, make asynchronous testing fun, Mocker's really simple. Let me remind myself what it looks like. So, let me just see an example, because it's not unit testing, it is similar to that. Uh, yes, it is very, very similar. Um, I don't know if it's more at the unit level or is it more at the... Um, this is where we need uh, Vendra. Um, oh, is it a test runner? Okay, you've answered your own question. Um, it does look uh, similar to the Cucumber step definitions um, and this is where we would want uh, Vendra on because he's, he's really, you know, shit hot on this sort of stuff. And uh, I don't think he's on. I was pinging him a message. Um, no, you know what? He's probably busy with the family. It's back holiday Friday. Let's leave him to it. If he joins, then that'd be good. And you can answer some of your some of the quite sorts of questions. So um, it does look kind of similar. So if I show you what um, what's behind the scenes, so um, it's written all in English. And if you hover, if you click Control or Command on a Mac, you can hover these, and it will take you to the step step definitions, which does look awfully similar to what we were just looking at. Ignore my linter. So. Um, you can see uh, the status code should be, and it's expecting a number there, and it will it will do the, the check. So um, this is my, my create. So I try and make a post. Um, I'm not logged in. And I expect a 403 back. And here's my create. Given I am logged in, when I make a post request to environments with the required fields were only title and type. So this is the, the minimum that is required. Um, to just check that. I should probably have another test that does a, does a full a full lot, make sure all the fields are saved actually. Uh, if, I, if I do, um, if I do, uh, thanks for your support Rampage, uh, that's awesome. And hopefully uh, Corey is, has got uh, their um, video working now. And uh, let me see if anyone else has joined. So it's still just us. So, um, yeah, I should probably have a test that te tests for more. And then after that, I do say that the status code should be 200. I actually do want a, a 201. 201 is better, um, uh, is the correct response code for a, a create or a post. But uh, I'm not gonna change my code for that. So I've just put in a 200 to make sure the test passes. I don't want something else. 
like a 400 where it means parameters are incorrect or 500 so uh, 200 we'll, we'll make do for now and I expect that the ID that I get back is a UUID I don't know what that will be so I cannot check exactly the, the ID of it but I can check that it's, a, it's, a, it's the UI, UUID format the owner I know is me it's my mock user well I say mock it is actually going off creating a JWT and uh, the type that we just put in build deploy and the title create environment A and then releases will be zero, views will be zero, uh, is private will be false. I'll also get by default uh, dashboard hub creates uh, a token. So uh, you should have an array field um, tokens and in row one it will have an ID of that. And actually it should also have, I think the tokens are called name and it should be continuous, continuous integration. I think that's what it's called. Uh, integration server is the default token that gets created. I'll just press on the Mac command option and L and just reformat that for me. Let me just um, let me just run that and see. So if I um, let's bring up the terminal, it's going to look really weird if I bring it up like that. Let me bring up the actual real terminal. So if I just do, we will have one failing test which is on the deploy because I'm part of the way through working on that one. So um, let me just go make test and just run that. And then you'll see all the scenarios run. So while that's running, if you look here on the left where it says uh, create environment successfully, the scenario title, that is, is, is just to describe the test. It's not actually gonna make a difference. You can write what you want up there. But underneath in the given when and then, that's actually what is driving um, the, the test. And in this case, driving my API. So I'm actually making um, get requests, post requests, patch requests uh, for updates and so on. So it takes about a minute to run. That's the deploy failure, that's fine. We were expecting that. I want you can see on the back of my chair my uh, my Fosdom hoodie. I do like that one as well. Fosdom's a, a free conference in Brussels every year in February. They do it at Libra University, and they just have like most conferences have like I don't know three tracks. This one has like 72 tracks. It is unbelievable. It is a crazy weekend, but it's really good. So okay, should be finishing any moment now. I can't remember if it's past the create environment. It's probably near the beginning, so it probably has. I didn't see an error come up. Do uh, do ask any questions as as uh, as we go along. Uh, I got to 69. To whoever followed me, thank you very much. That is awesome. I should actually have um, events so I know who it is. So okay, so that did pass. So this uh, oh no, that didn't pass. Um, deployed list. No, that's the deployed list, so that's fine. This is the one from failing from before. So that also passed, so that's good. Should we just prove that it does work? Shall I just delete this? And, 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 we can, and I'll just save it. I won't adjust the formatting. I just want to check that it does work. And I can actually, if I go into the API directory, I can actually just run that one file so it's a bit quicker. Um, so this is the command I have from earlier. It's in my history. Environment create feature file. Let me just run that really quickly and make sure that should fail because I've deleted server off the end of the name and it should have a continuous integration server, not just, con there we go. So we can see that um, it failed. It, it, the red is what we had, which is what's in my test on line 28. I'm pointing at my screen, which you can't see, so that's kind of really stupid. But um, uh, continuous integration in red and then in green is what it actually received from the API and it's got server at the end. So I'm just going to put that back so we know the test is working, so that's awesome. So what else do we need to check? Um, so we did say about making um, one fill in all the fields and make sure that it does, does get saved because there was image, there were a few other bits and pieces. So what I might do is actually just fill them all out here. So if I just check the model, we can see what we can save as well. And actually, if I open the model on the right-hand side, uh, I know some of it's covered. But if we do, uh, we've got type, what have we got? Um, we can't send the owner, but we can send uh, title, type, 
I send a description in. Uh, description. Automated test. Automated test. We'll sort out the um, uh, we'll sort out the formatting at the end. We've we'll got some questions. Nice. No questions. Doing my own thing right now. I'm writing some API stuff in uh, in my off time. Might look into Kube instead of Mocha once I uh, pass MVP. Yeah, I did the same. I kind of got a prototype up and running really quick. Trying to get some feedback on it, and uh, and then now that I'm pushing forward with, with these features, I thought, right, my API needs to be bulletproof. And I found so many bugs over the last kind of couple of weeks I've been writing these automated tests. I, I've watched them quite busy, so I should have just really sat down and done them in, in two days. But what I've noticed is the boundary conditions. So um, I don't think it was in this file, but in one of the other files, um, in one of my other commits on GitHub, and if I go to the repo, uh, you will see, um, so if I go to GitHub and this is the ticket that I'm working on, and if I go to the commits, I think the one I did, the committed this earlier today, uh, oh, not in this branch, I am in issue 752. I think it's the one I did today. Yeah, six hours ago. You'll see that, okay, not that one, not that one. So I started finding things like this. So if, the, if there is an environment found, return a 404 if you're not the owner return a 404 but then also um, this is for the token test if you're trying to delete a token that didn't exist you still get a 200 back and I was like oh, that doesn't make sense you should get a 404 so um, I've had to put this on to uh, on the API uh, which is um, using serverless and AWS Lambda to check so there were so many things like that that I found um, which I found um, I write in the test. The tests are so important. Um, but yeah, the MVP kind of prototype stage is good to get some feedback and validate your answer. So we've got a description. But Cucumber is also one. It takes a bit of a, not a pain, it's the wrong word, but you can sit down and set up the step definitions. Which, to be honest, most of our step definitions between my project and your project will be very similar. You will want the same sort of things and should have a field ID with a certain value. Um, so that can be mind open source, so by all means just steal it, um, I'll steal it, borrow it. Uh, if I go back to the beginning you can see the project, it is in my info on Twitch as well, but it's uh, dashboard hub forward slash pipeline dashboard and uh, it will be in the API and then it will be in features and then in support and these are the steps. So these are all the steps that I have, so you can kind of copy and paste this file and then all these will, will work and if you're in a decent IDE as you start typing if you went and should it will come up with all the possible options that uh, you can use so you can see which one makes sense um, to you and you can start to write, write these tests pretty quickly so um, what else have we got description uh, link so link needs to be a link I don't know if I'm checking for a valid link I actually probably should let me see um, no, just minimum and maximum. Okay, so we probably need to add another test in there. So we can make this one fail, and then I'll, I'll fix it in the code. Proper TDD stuff, or proper-ish TDD stuff. So, if we say, um, hey, what am I writing? Yeah, do check it out, um, and if you see anything that you think is an improvement, just log an issue. It's really open, um, and if you see anything you want to improve, by all means commit a PR. And uh, you know, I had on my other stream uh, a couple of days ago. I submitted some PRs to people's work. They submitted to mine, and it's all all good fun. I love receiving a PR, even if it's just a, a spacing or a text change. Um, I think it's all all awesome. So uh, link. Let me put in an invalid link. So I want I want HTTPS so it doesn't break the certification on the page. There's nothing worse than having a, a resource on the page that hasn't got HTTPS because then um, you, you lose the, the, the certificate, certificate for that page. So, um, right, uh, cool, okay, I'm just looking at my night bot, just checking that it's not spamming too much, or it's spamming quite a bit, maybe 15 minutes. Cool, Rampage, thanks for joining, um, and I'm guessing it's you who followed me on Twitch, so thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time. And you can always catch up on this uh, video on Twitch, or it will also be on YouTube for to keep it there for, for longer. But yeah, thanks for thanks for joining. 
So. Right, let me um, go back to this one. Where were we? Oh yes, I was going to put um, a, a bad test in here. So actually I should probably make two of these. Um, let me see. So this one should pass, it should be HTTPS. Oops, forward slash, forward slash. Um, let's get a real image. I think that shouldn't matter, example.com. So that should pass, but actually I do want a test and this will this will fail. So this title type, I will do it under, there's a typo down here, type. Oh, it's title, there we go, it was title failure. Okay, so, uh, title, and then we want another one, which is field, uh, not link, actually, it is, logo, that was the one. Oh, well, I do have a test for it down here, so we need to make sure it still works. So we'll come back to that one, logo. And this will be the logo. Actually, let's take some of these. I just need that one. So, title, great environment, fail, error. So, it should never be created. Uh, do not create environment error in error. And then down here, we've got logo we do need to type so I actually need to keep this and then we want the logo and we want to make sure that if we don't pass if we do http without the s and just go example.com we expect it to become a back of a 400 and then the one up here is a link anyway so link that's fine we can do that without the s if we duplicate the line, what else have we got after link? So we've got releases we can't send via the API. That's what's going to be done for us by a different API call. Same with latest release, same with ping, same with uh, we've got is private. Is private. So we can do, um, make this, let's make this true. By default, it's false. And uh, what else have we got? Tags we can do. I'm not using tags. I probably remove that. But as we've got it there, let's um, let's do it. Tokens. I'm hoping doesn't get created on on that environment call. No, it just um, just creates one by default. Perfect. So we should probably test that as well, actually, and see. Um, so let's put another one on here. Okay, let's finish this one first before I jump around too much. So what else have we got? Um, is private true? So we need some more tests. So this should actually be true now. And we put in a link. There's no link in here, okay. So we should say link. And then we expect the link to be HTTP forward slash forward slash example.com. And also we put in link is private. Description, there's no description in here, so we need a description. Description, and we expect the description to be automated test. It's private, tokens, we should put a token in, uh, in another test and make sure it doesn't get saved. We have tags here, we'll, we'll put tags in, I think, as, let's just run this, just make sure it's okay. The more I look at my, um, to just do the create. The more I look at my tests and the API, the more kind of boundary conditions I want to write, which is really good because in the future, if I want to move away from DynamoDB to say um, Aurora Serverless, which is just my SQL, uh, it's without managing all the instances, then um, I can make the changes and I can just run the test and I'll know if it works or not. So. Right, we've got one failure should have a field is private with true and it got false okay maybe we found a bug let's have a look so if I go to the create environment where's the is private is private it's hard-coded to false 
Okay, I know why I did that. It's because I didn't want anyone to create any private environments yet. But that's fine. Let's uh, let's save that. We should do this properly. So if I just do this, oops, and then just say it's private. Let me run that again. We should try to move this over to the. Oh, you can still see it with all the screens. So. This will hopefully pass, and uh, and we can move on. I'm pretty confident it will pass. So what else have we got? Um, tokens we were talking about. So I think that's the last one. Uh, tag, sorry, not tokens. So again, monitors we don't do. Type we do do. We've included. And did we do a check? We do invalid type, and we check that it doesn't save it. We didn't put logo on here. Okay, so we need to do the logo, and we'll do it with an S to pass, and then down here, we'll put it without an S, and it should be a 400, which is it's already been running, it's already been there, perfect. Okay, so we need to check that logo has an S in it, logo, okay, what else have we got, okay, it's already 20 past 6, Clock is ticking. So, what else do we want to check? Tags. We said, let me just run that one more time. So I've made a few changes. I well, don't want to make too many changes, and uh, and then things start breaking. We don't know what we changed. So little and often. Okay, come on. It's going to go green. I have a good feeling. So for anyone else who's just joined, um, we're just writing some automated tests for Dashboard Hub project, and it's open source, so it's completely open source, so do have a look at it. It is on um, GitHub, and it is on uh, Dashboard Hub forward slash pipeline dashboard. Or you can get to it from my account as well. And my account, there should be a link in the chat, and Nightbot will ping up in a minute, and I'm sure share that. So, run all those tests, and also what we're doing is we're writing Cucumber tests for my API. So just to just to uh, cover again, to recap even, um, we're saying uh, create environment successfully, given I'm logged in and it actually logs in as a user, actually goes, logs in, gets a JWT, and uses that for the API. So the one up here doesn't have that, so it makes a request without the JWT. Uh, and I, I make a post to forward slash environments with these values, and then we're checking that we get these values back. So, what else have we got? Uh, we were going to check tags next. So that's all green. So it's great. So let's put tags on here and see what we can do. Let's put it right at the end. So tags is an array. I don't think I've tested one of these yet. So it should just be, I think, tag one, tag two. Format that, reformat that. And let's just check it. So under is private. We're going to say tags. I think that's exposed on the API. Create. Do we save tags? We do save the tags. And here in the model, we can see uh, where is it? Tags is an array. Okay, brilliant. Between three and 32 characters. Such so those two should be fine. And we want to check. So. Um, We can just say uh, tags with. I don't know if this, I can do it like this. Hmm. Might need another step definition uh, to, to see it. Let me just. I think that will work. Uh, should have a field tags with. We'll need a table set up like this. So it should have an array. It will be an array. Uh, in tags and in row one. Yeah, that should work actually. So let's duplicate this. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, so before tokens, we will do it. So it should be an array in tags and in row one, we are expecting the field. It hasn't got a field name, it's just a value. 
Mm. This is a bit trickier, we think. Oh, the pressure of live streaming and, and, and finding a, an issue. Okay. If you have any questions, do ask. If you have any suggestions, do say, please. Don't just watch me uh, watch me suffer. So, uh, let me think. If I look at my step definitions, what have we got here? So, we've got length. We can check the length though. We can check that it's two. So let's do that actually as well before then. So actually, let me undo what I was just doing. So field tags with, I think we can do with length. No, where's the title? Should have a field with length. Should have a field. Why is it not auto-completing? Should have a field name with length. Should have a, a field tags with length. Okay, uh, the ID is playing up. So let's just check that that comes through correctly before I do any more tests. So let's run that. And if that passes, which I'm pretty sure it will, we could check that actually is tag one and tag two. I could always leave that till later. I'm trying to think how the best way to do this is with, I can just cheat for now and do something like this, tag one, tag two, okay so that passed, let me save this and see if this works, this is where we need Venzra, he knows his stuff really well, no it failed, Deep, okay, because they're escaped. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. So we can escape it. We can escape it. Hopefully, step position isn't too upset. It is upset. Okay, we put the singles back in. Is it less upset? Okay, if that failed. That's fine. Let's run it again. Just have some water while, while that's running. Again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave that out. I just put to do on it. We can come back to it later. I don't wanna get bogged down uh, in a simple test. We've checked that there's two there, and so I think that's enough for now to do. Uh, I'll just leave it to do on it. I should write a message to do. Check array. There it is. Okay, so. That's fine. And the other test we were going to do was, oh yeah, around saving tokens, the tokens should not be saved. So, uh, let's put tokens in here as well. Create an environment successfully uh, without tokens. I don't want to do a whole separate test for it. Or should I? Yeah, maybe I should actually take that back. Come down here. It should be a successful save but without tokens. So we just need title and type. Let's put this down here. Create environment successfully without tokens. So given that I'm logged in, I make a post request to this, and we can make this a B. We do expect this to be created. Let's just test a different format. Let's just do build. And what we want in here is to have, oops, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Um, what we want to do is tokens, and we want it to be uh, an array, and we want it to be tokens, needs to be a name. Oh, my TV, Apple TV's just turned off. Oh, it's been a long day. So, uh, tokens, so it will be an object, and it will be, um, I think it's name, so token name is, we'll call it test. And then 
I think that's it actually, let me just check. Uh, token model. Um, or on the create of a token. So on the create of a token, all it expects is a name and everything else gets generated for you. Okay, so it's just a name. So we will do that. And we'll put a comma in, let's put a second one in. And test two. So when this gets created, it will create the default token and these two should, should be ignored. So it should only be one token that should be created. Uh, and it should be the continuous integration one. So here we will check, um, check for 200. I'm not gonna check for the ID again because that will be the same, but I will check for the name. So uh, title, just to make sure we get the right one back. And if we called it B, and I will also check uh, the tokens. Let's just check the, the length of it as well. So if I just copy this tags one, I'll change it to uh, tokens. It should have a length of one, not two or three. And it should have that name in it. Okay, let's run it again. Let's hope uh, we're good. Okay, green test please. Anyone else who's watching or joined, please do jump in and ask any questions, give any suggestions, and uh, I can, um, yeah, we can talk about it. What we're doing is writing some automated tests for my API. We're actually using um, uh, Cucumber, and it's driving my API for real, so it's not mocking anything out, it's actually um, saving the, the data. So saving, a requesting, making requests in response to the data, to the API. Oh my word, I'm so tired. I think it is time to call it a day. That's green, so I'm happy with that now. Again, my, uh, my create API, which I thought was done, is now a lot more bulletproof. So we check that if we send tokens in, they don't get created, which is exactly what we want. I don't know if I should check all the others, probably not. The tokens is the important one. And these are all passing now, okay. Awesome, so we wrote uh, a feature file and uh, we, um, we got it failing and passing. There is one, there was one failing, um, but I'll probably pick that up tomorrow. So uh, yes, yeah, so we've been going for 45, over 45 minutes. I think um, you're probably all kind of seeing step, uh, cucumber, uh, cucumber tests and kind of going crazy. You know, it's a Friday night, Everyone enjoy your evening and weekend. I will try and do a, a stream over the weekend if I can. If not, I will see you um, Monday. If not Monday, definitely Tuesday. Then again, 5.30 is, is what I'm trying to do, 5.30 during the week, every weekday. But Monday's a bank holiday, holiday in the UK, so I might not be on, but I want to try it like I did today, even if it's just a short one. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. Put the holding screen up, must remember that. Eight days of streaming and I'm still making lots of mistakes. But we did have no technical issues today, so that was really good.